after you make your last double crochet, cut the working yarn, pull the loop through, thread the end onto the yarn needle, and then look at the top two stitches here. You work under the second one away, under the top two loops. And then make sure this yarn is above the old double crochet top here. Thread that needle in between these two loops on the last stitch of the row. Don't pull too tightly. Just pull tightly enough to mimic the top of the stitches so it looks very similar. Now pull this to mimic that stitch and now you're going to weave that end in on the inside. And that's how you make the invisible join. Now when you begin your next round, make that first double crochet in a different stitch from that invisible join. So just find a different double crochet to start in. Now, when you get to the one that you did the joining stitch in, if I can find it, it's this one right here. When you get to the one that you did the join stitch in, when you work into that, I work into the whole stitch. So the old stitch and the new stitch. If that makes sense, let me show you. So that's the original, and then the top one there is your new one. So you have your old one underneath. So I work through the whole thing like that, and it hides it even more. <laughs> 